Are you back? We got 48 hours rest and rehab. What are we gonna do? Rest. Oh, are you kidding? Hey, Sarge, how far do you think it is, Paris, huh? It's too far, Kirby. It's too far. Why don't you be a good guy, Kirby, and don't talk when you can sleep? Ah, come on, you old rascal. Go down there and stir up a little trouble. Now, come on, wake up. Hey, it's him. It's Avery, Sarge. Avery. It couldn't be. All right, what's going on? Well, it's nothing, Lieutenant. It's just somebody they thought he knew. Where's your lieutenant? Well, he's at battalion. He's due back at 1,700 hours, sir. I'll have to refer charges to him if that civilian should show up. Well, don't worry, sir. He ain't gonna show up. Why not? Look, Lieutenant, it's a mistake. Well, no mistake, Sarge. Look, it was Avery. I'm telling you, it was Avery. Now, what I gotta tell you to convince you? It couldn't be. Avery's dead. You know it. I know it, and we all know it. the top. What about this civilian you struck? Well, it wasn't a civilian, sir. Then what was he? Lieutenant. I didn't ask you, Sergeant. Let's hear it, soldier, loud and clear. He's a deserter. A man deserted under fire. He wasn't a deserter. You'll get your chance, Sergeant. Go on. His name was Avery, sir. Walter Avery. He's a platoon sergeant. It happened just outside St. Lowe. You must have read about it back in the States. Anyway, they hit us pretty bad, and we lost a bunch of men. The battalion started to send up some replacements at the same time some crowd 88s were hitting us pretty bad, just letting up on us now and then between racks. Anyway, this Avery was real go army, if you know what I mean, Lieutenant. R.A. all the way. Used to think he liked having a replacement sent up because it gave him a chance to prove what a big man he was. Your mama's not here to lead you down by the head! Maybe I better bring them in. No, I want them to come across one at a time. 
The replacements is their first time on the fire. I know that, but they gotta lick this thing right here, right now. Gotta do it all by themselves. There's not gonna be anybody around to help them over the rough spots from here on out. Well, don't look at me like that, Saunders. I didn't call it. It's the name of the game. Vitaly, where are you from? Addison, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah? It's a great town. I used to work there once. Yeah. Had a wild little bar downtown. What's the name of it? Used to hang out there. Uh, Angelo's, 3rd Street? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> hey. Well, look, we'll chew the fat later. You get yourself down to Corporal Kemp's squad. We're moving out in 10 minutes. Let's go. Yeah, sure thing, Sarge. In Madison, Wisconsin. You work there, huh? Well, uh, sometimes it... Maybe it helps to think somebody knows your name, where you're from. Okay, next man, let's go! Next man, go! Soldier. Larkin. Private Obi Larkin. Is that so? You get yourself in gear and you get over to Sergeant Reinhardt's squad. That way. Let's move out. <laughs> and that woman threw me out that second story window. Oh. Hey, Lil John, you should have been there yeah, for that okay, one. Yeah. <laughs> Funniest thing. Hey, Larkin, you better get moving. You got room for me in your squad, Sarge? Yeah, how about it, Sarge? Yeah, Kirby and I go way back together. We can have a lot of laughs. Well, if we have any laughs, we'll call you. Come on. Come on. I told you to get on up the mine. Let's go. We'll move out at uh, 1,600 hours. Sergeant Reinhardt's squad will take the left, Kemp will take the right, and you move 50 yards behind Sergeant Reinhardt. Hey, Sarge, how's chances of me digging in with these guys here? I got a buddy with them. It'll be a big boost to my morale, Sarge. I'm gonna give you the word, soldier, the first time and the last time. You hear, you obey. You got that? That's the word. You're part of a team now. You move out on our time, not on yours. You slow up out there. You stall. You delay when you get an order. Maybe one of us catches it. You got the word? Yes, sir. OK, Private Larkin, move up to Sergeant Reinhardt's squad, like I told you. Come on, I'll take you up there.
big man. Big deal. It was Larkin's first day on the line. He had to shake him up for nothing. For no good reason. That's the way he was. Have you anything to add to that, Sergeant? I asked if there was anything you wanted to add about Sergeant Avery. No, sir, only that he was the best. Was? Yes, sir, he was killed that same day outside of St. Louis. Now, Sergeant Avery ran. What happened, Sergeant? Well, there's a counterattack before we can get too far. We dug in where we could. The Germans overran some of our positions. Uh, Reinhardt's squad took most of the beating. It took us the rest of the day to push the Germans back. They didn't leave much behind. Is he locking? Uh-oh. It's me coming. Uh -oh. Doc! Doc! <laughs> you got yourself a million-dollar wound, boy. All this time at the front, I couldn't get one. <laughs> you came out here and got one your first day. Some form, will you? Hey, hey Larkin, listen. When you get out of the hospital, you and me are gonna take Paris just the way we did Trenton during Bessie. Just you and me, you hear me? We're gonna tear that place apart. Cover me. Cover me, Sarge. 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 Don't run. Don't run. That's not quite a complete story, Sergeant. What happened to Avery? I figure he's dead. Officially, he's listed as missing in action, Lieutenant. Sure, missing in action. Lieutenant, I knew Avery. He was a fine soldier. In any combat area, there are a number of men missing in action. You've been through enough to know that. Sure, Lieutenant. I'll pass this report to your unit. You'll be notified if any further action is required. Yes, sir.
me, Avery. Came to turn myself in to Hanley, but I want to talk to you first. So you did run. You deserted. No, I didn't do that. I know the way it may have looked to you, but I didn't do that. Kirby was right. He was right all the time. Listen, Saunders. I never thought I'd want to see you dead. Listen to me. Well, I was dead for a couple of months. This French girl from the village of San Galbain. She found me. She hid me from the Germans till I got well. Where? Well, her farm and this church. Why don't you talk to me about a farm or a church? I want to hear it. I want to hear it from the beginning. Now start right from the beginning. Okay, partner. When the Germans counterattacked, we got caught in a pocket. We got it from all around. I remember I saw Reinhardt's BAR man get it, and my car being jammed, and so I left my foxhole to get the BAR. The kid locker in that replacement. He was right next to you, wasn't he? Yeah. I remember he yelled something at well, anyway, I went to get the B.A.R. to cover his position, but I never got there. There was an explosion. It must have been a German grenade. Anyway, I got a hit. I didn't fall, though. I just kept going. I knew I wanted to get somewhere. I don't know how far I went before I passed out. And this French girl I was telling you about, her name was Emily Rochar. She took me to her folks. And they hid me from the Germans, and when the Germans counterattacked, they took me east behind the German lines. I was half conscious most of the time. I don't know, I remember some root cellars and caves and attics they hid me in. Well, finally, about four days ago, I came around. It took me a couple of days to get myself together, then I got through the lines wearing this. I heard our outfit was around here someplace, so I came here to turn myself in. Why didn't you? I don't know. When Kirby jumped me in the square, I guess I panicked. I never thought anybody would think I deserted. Well, why do you think I deserted? It was the kid Larkin before he died. He said he saw you run. Well, somebody else must have seen it. They were all dead. We found your helmet and your carbine. That was all. Well, then you must have seen the B.A.R. It's right back in my foxhole. I didn't see it, Avery. Well, who else was with you? The whole squad. I don't know what they saw. We didn't talk about it very much. Well, somebody must have seen it. The B.A.R. was 20 or 30 yards behind my position. Jimmy and I were off of the right of where Larkin was found. Seems to me I did see something dug in back there. Could have been a B.A.R. Yeah, there you are. I didn't say it was. I said it could have been. Doc, you were there. You must have seen it. I just saw where you left your carbine. During Tootin, I left it. It was jammed. That's why I went back to get the B.A.R. Sarge, Kirby's gonna be back in a minute. He's just out prowling around town. Uh, Lieutenant Halley's located just over the square. Come on, everybody. We better go see him. You sure nobody else got through? Not from our outfit. Oh. Wait a minute. It wasn't in our outfit. It was, it was Kellerman. He's a combat engineer with 37th. He was with us when the Germans broke through. You mean the redhead? Yeah. Sure, I met him not too long ago, right outside of Leon. Yeah? Well, you know what that means, don't you? Come on, let's go see Lieutenant Hanley. I knew it. Look, all that time I knew he was still alive, Sergeant. Kirby, I know now, wait a minute. A big hero, big veteran, ain't you? Look, every time I go out there, I get so scared I get sick from it, but I never ran. No, no, I never did that one. I know what Larkin thought. I know what you believe. I got the word for you. Straight from O.B. Larkin to you, and you know what it is. I'll just see you at the court-martial. Larkin was a close buddy of his. They went through basic together. You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. I could be a court-martial. Without Kellerman's testimony, I'll never prove I didn't run. Before I turn myself in, I'm going to go see Kellerman, find out what he knows. I've got to.
option to go to the front. You got almost 24 hours left. Aren't you going the wrong way? There's someone I have to look up, Lieutenant. At this hour? Why? Well, I can't tell you right now, except that it's important to me, and I, I'll fill you in as soon as I get back. Uh, who do you have to see? Combat engineer with the 37th. I read this report that Lieutenant Gates wrote for me about the incident of Kirby and the civilian. I guess there's nothing more you care to add at this time. No, sir, not at this time. No. All right, permission granted. Thank you. Uh, Saunders, one more. How could you be so sure that Kirby was wrong when he told Lieutenant Gates that Avery had deserted under fire? Because of Avery's record as a soldier. I guess Avery had been through quite a lot, hadn't he? Oh, yes, sir. I remember hearing that with some men, once they crack under fire, it's like Humpty Dumpty. When that first crack appears, all the psychiatrists in the world can't put him back together again as a combat soldier. All right, I'll expect to see you at 1,500 hours tomorrow. Right. Oh, and, uh, Saunders. Whether you find your friend or not, that's 1,500 hours. Yes, sir. Silly 37 was dug in by the Hillsong River. Can't be more than a half a mile or so. Yeah. Well, we'll take a break, huh? They're not gonna break through the run in the next five minutes. No, I'm all right. I'm getting strong every minute. Looks like a perfect setup for a booby trap, don't it? Give it a try.
There's been a lot of war since St. Lowe. <laughs> yeah. I guess I will take that break. Crowd 88, sir. They're giving us a hard time. Are those our 105s? Here are 105s. It's tough to tell at this distance. You ever been to Texas, Saunders? No. No, I never have. Well, that's where I'm really from, Amarillo. Did I ever tell you that? I guess when you've been out of action for a time, you start thinking more about getting home. You told me where you're from once, but I, I've forgotten. Yeah, well, uh, so have I. We better be gone. <laughs> You at the 37th? We're looking for a Sergeant Kellerman. You know Kellerman? Who oh, is he? Liege. What's he doing in Liege? Why ain't he up here? He's dead. What are you trying to tell me he's dead? I come up here to talk. Did you know him? Hey, did he ever tell you about that action back at St. Lowe when the Germans broke through? Okay, you uh, guys, let's go. Hey, Corporal, I'm talking to you. If you knew him, he must have told you something about it. Not a thing. Listen, hey, do you know Kellerman? You remember Kellerman? He was pinned down with us. Hey. Oh, let's be getting back. Well, maybe if we move further up, we can find somebody else in the 37th. No, let's not kid ourselves from here on in. It's only going to be my word that I didn't run off.
not bad that we got to stop that bleeding. Tell you what, uh, I'll go back to the A station and uh, send you a litter down here. It's less than a mile, it won't be long. St. Louis, it was that, it's the way I said it was. I went for the BAR. I got hit. Emily found me and folks hid me. But I wasn't unconscious all the time. I mean, not all of it. And you know what that means, huh? That means uh, there was a chance I could have gotten back. I could have tried, but, but I didn't. I just let them hide me. I won't make this clear, I didn't run. I just didn't try to get back, that's all. Let's get over here and take a rest. I can't tell you what it was like when I come to in that cellar. For the first time in two years, I was out of it. I was, I was safe. I knew I could stick right there in that cellar and let the whole war roll right over me. I just can't explain it to you what, what it feels like when you know you could be out of it. I mean, after all that time, I've had it. Africa and. Sicily and Italy and Normandy. You know, you get so you act and you react, but you never think about getting through it. I mean, that's what makes you good. It makes you a money player. It's like you are now. It's the way I used to be. I know, I can tell. You close your mind to everything except what's right now. You, 
you don't think about where you come from, you don't think about where you're going, you, you just get through it from day to day. Then, if all of a sudden you're, you're pulled out of it, you're pulled right out of it, and you feel a woman's touch, or you get to thinking again, and you get to hoping, and then you're caught. You want so much, you think it's gonna choke you. I just can't go back to not thinking and not hoping again. I'm a loser. I've got nothing but scared money I'm afraid to put on the line. All I want to do is live. I don't care what it costs anymore. kind of shatters the image, don't it? How you get through that? Well, like the man said, I cry a lot. I'll take everything into account when you tell them about it. You can get word back to them from the aid station. Not a chance. If Kellerman had been alive to testify, maybe they'd listen to him, but without him, the whole house of cards collapses. There's only one thing to believe, that I deserted under fire. I could testify. To what? You tell me. What you saw back there? Shoot, that's all I need. You gonna lie for me under oath? You wouldn't do that anymore, and I'd do it for you. I'll take you back to the A station, but I'm gonna stick around for any long goodbyes. You can't do it. I can, huh? Well, you just watch me. Let's go, buddy. You take off now. There's no question about it being desertion. You'll never be able to go back. That's all right. Okay. You can get back to your outfit, Sergeant. Sergeant. Take it easy. You're gonna be okay now. Sergeant. charge here there was a corporal but he caught it on the way up well we never saw nothing nothing what are you reporting to uh, king company the 23rd yes yeah, good outfit we thought if you were going up there well i'm not I'm being sent back to the states oh man how about that gee you must have really been through it sarge 
Hey, Sarge, did you ever see any of those new crowd tanks? You know, the ones with the flamethrowers? We heard they burned out a whole company from the 23rd. Who told you that? Well, everybody knows it. Well, I don't know it. If they haven't thrown it at me, they ain't got it. You stop listening to all that garbage, you hear me? Learn to count on yourself. There ain't gonna be anybody up there to boost you over the rough spot. You gotta realize that. What's your name? Bettinger. Where are you from? Tacoma. Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, I used to work up there. Spent a lot of time in a real wild little bar down on the main drag. Tony's? Yeah, that's the place. I used to have some real wild times. How's your leg? It'll be all right. For a while back there, I almost thought that... Yeah, for a moment back there, I almost did. Got a ride back to the battalion for you, Sergeant. That's far enough. Yeah, I'll be okay. Well, I got a missing an action report I gotta correct. I'll see you. I'll be seeing you. You're gonna be okay. Start acting for a while. How's that sound here? I'll let you know.